like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I march until it's over Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and in today's video we're going to be talking about PS4 Remote Play version 8.1. Now a lot of you guys are probably wondering why am I making another video so suddenly and uh, why am I going to be showing you um, another video. <coughs> now PS4 Remote Play 8.1 has officially released. Now I wanted to give you guys two, um, I want to give you guys a pre warning so you guys can understand of what I'm going to tell you, because if I see you guys commenting, oh, I don't know how to do this, blah, 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 or, you know, that, you know that exactly what I'm going to say, then I'm just going to disable comments, and then you guys are going to have to figure it out on your own, and I don't want to do that. So, just take this in mind. I am running, I have a Nexus 6. This is a custom ROM. This custom ROM has root. I don't have exposed installed for specifically for this video because this phone is still new I'm still learning all about the Nexus 6 so just keep that in mind if you're having problems within trying to copy into system there is a major major there is a major chance that your system it has been patched by your manufacturer preventing you to get active gain access to your system files regardless if you have root or not this is nothing out of my control and this is nothing that's dealing with the files you're going to have to contact your manufacturer or try to get information online through the developer community for your specific device i have no responsible i take no responsible ability if your da if device gets damaged by using the files or anything beyond that all i want to say guys if it doesn't work for you then well, I'm sorry to say this, but too bad. I can't help you. So take this with a grain of salt. And if this is something that you are confused about, then rewatch this video and you can get in and, be, and watch this many, many times because I remember there was one dude that literally had to do, the, to do it before in order to understand exactly how to do it and be able to successfully run PS4 Remote Play. Now in this video, I cannot show you after this installation um, that um, that how PS4 Remote Play runs because I have a device with no exposed and no and no other kind of what you call it uh, program to hide my, my root as my root is embedded uh, is embedded within the operating system. So I'll show you guys now. Usually, typically, um, your operating system would be would would typically be uh, have super su but i have a built-in super root super um like not super su but i have a root um, um program which is built in the operating system and regardless if i removed and rooted it would have still detected because of these options these options do not go away so just keep that in mind <laughs> so so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to get into i did not I don't know why it keeps going right in notification. The first thing you want to do is get into your home screen. You need to go into your launcher and open the app ES File Explorer. The reason I ask you guys to download ES File Explorer because it has more better permissions and it's much more easier for the average Android user, even a five-year-old can use it. And if you can't understand any of this, then I think that you should really evaluate this video again and and I'm trying to understand about um, EX, what EX File Explorer is, what it does, what you can do with it, and get more knowledge because you're learning how learning your phone, learning about your phone is most the most crucial part because if you learn a lot about your phone, how to install things, <coughs> the specs, everything, you're going to have an easier time to be able to know how to get this working. So the first thing you want to do is when you get into is File Explorer and you have to make sure that you have root because if you don't have root, you won't be able to do anything beyond this point. So when you're going to go, go up, open this tab, it's a little three bars on the top. 
you're gonna go down and scroll down to the says root explorer you're gonna enable that once you enable that you're gonna click on root explorer the actual thing not the check mark and there's gonna be a different options what you're gonna do is scroll down and go to mount rw what this means is gonna mount read and write instead of read and I forgot what the O meant but once you do that you're gonna everything's gonna be usually over here you want to make sure it's on the right side where it says rw once you do that just click can just okay okay and it's already allows you to write read and write onto your system folder this will allow you definitely to write to your system folder and easily gives you more access and more control so now what you want to do once you do that you want to go into the mega downloads where you downloaded the ps4 remote play package you want to be able to go ahead and select help, tap and, uh, and select and hold and you want to go up to this little three dot option and go down to extract two you want to click ok you don't have to specifically, specifically place anywhere you just like click ok and it should extract into its own dedicated folder once it's done extracting it will give you another folder next to the zip. I would highly suggest keep the zip. Don't delete it in case I say if something happened, something messed up, you can extract it and get easily back to it. Now, we are not going to be worrying about the PC version. So we're going to delete this for now. We don't need that. We just need this one and we're going to need this one. So the first thing you want to do is go into this folder and you don't, and you want to see if all the files are here as, as, as it is. Now you want to go into this folder, which is on the right side and you're going to see two different ones exposed and normal right now i do have a custom recovery but i don't want to grab my other phone to be able to show you this because my phone is pretty much i don't have this i factory set it and i don't really want to set it up just specifically for this video video but if you guys want to see a, re a recovery version of video let me know in the comment section and then most people who request it i will go ahead and do it and i will show you guys on how that works so you want to go and you want to go and take, take this normal one if you're going to install, install normally and you're going to extract this one. It's going to put in its own dedicated folder and you want to make sure that you do everything as you see here. Messing up, uh, messing or up or skipping one step just because you think you know everything is going to screw you up and you're going to have to do everything all over again. Now, I'm not in, now we're going to go into this folder and you're going to see four different folders. You're going to see app. You're going to see DualShock 4. I would highly recommend you, if you have root, use ZipMe. And I would highly say back up your system and your private app folder. And you can use that as a flasher. Just extract it and just um, make make your folders and then place these folders in there. And then flash it through your custom recovery if you have one. But if you're going to go put this inside... inside um, your your os and i know that they're not the, the icons are not showing because 8.1.0 isn't going to show you that the way how it's built so we're not going to worry about these because these aren't ne really necessary for it to run but we're going to worry about three these three <coughs> these three folders we're going to go into and we're going to go move go to framework first and we're going to go into moving these into framework you want to go back here to search else you see these two options or more you're going to click the one that has like a slash and you're going to go down to the folder name system not sys system so what i'm it's what i'm selecting right now now once you're in system you're going to go into the folder that these these two files you see on the left were in now go in here and place them there now here there is the tricky part when it comes to trying to find them when you go into framework you're going to see a bunch of jars now i would highly suggest don't mess with any of these except finding the ones for playstation they should say playstation on them and are pretty easy to find all you gotta do is scroll down until you find the playstation um frameworks now it should sometimes it does take a time so we can find them they're right here it does take time to find them, so just make sure you have a lot of patience and don't rush with everything. Once you click that, you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're going to go down and press options. Go, go uh, I'll show you again. You go up here and up here. You click properties, and it's gonna show you about information about this file. Now you just scroll down, and you're gonna see a, a little option that says permissions, and there a button that says change. Now you're gonna click it. Now on default, you're gonna have all these selected. What you need to disable, uncheck mark is all of execute and uh, starting from the bottom the the the, the second row 
and down, you're gonna click this down, and you're gonna leave everything the way it is. You should have re read all selected and write only the top checkbox check mark um checkbox selected, and press OK. Once you once you click OK, you should see under permissions called RW dash RR R dash R dash. And then what this means is read, write, read, read. And you can just click cancel. And I can show you guys confirm that this won't change anything once you can cancel. It'll stay the same. And you need to do it for both files. And I know this is pretty much very time consuming and nobody likes doing this. I personally don't like doing this. I typically like to flash um, my mine, but I didn't I didn't do it for this specific video. I wanted to do it because I wanted to show you guys that I'm having no problem with it. And now I did that. And we're done with the we're done with the framework folder. Now we gotta go back. We gotta go back to the the <coughs> to the installation folder, and we're gonna go select attack. Now there's gonna be a folder in attack in the same in the same for, file format, which is called permissions. And these permissions are gonna be two different files, and you're gonna take both of them, them, and you're gonna either copy or move them. You might go back in the same folder as you recently copied the other ones, so you might wanna back out pressing the little top arrow, and you wanna go find the folder name ETC, that's called ETEC. Um, now when you go in that folder, you're gonna see a bunch of folders, <coughs> at folders, and you wanna make sure that you do not put any, fo any files in the default permissions folder you want to make sure, make sure that put it in the permissions folder once you put it in there <coughs> you're gonna have to go back into that folder into the permissions folder and find the playstation files that are in xml's what these permissions will do is allow the operate or that will, will allow um your android to recognize ps4 remote play and be able to reload the jar files from the framework so we're gonna find them and it's gonna take some time so i, I ha uh, we found them they're right here they are right here. So we found the first one and we have to do the same thing. Click up, press the little options button in the file explorer, click properties, and we're gonna do the same exact thing. So just make sure that all these are just selected and these two are just unselected and leave the rest the, the, the same. And you should get read, write, write, read, write, read, read. So once you actually get these, you'll be done and you'll be able to Go, you'll be able to um, install PS4 Remote Play. Now, once you do once you do that part, you're gonna have to go back into the folder that has all your files that you need to install. Now, the last final one is the lib folder. This one is specifically for the application itself. This is not for this is not for anything else. You don't necessarily need this. I forgot to mention at some point, but this is for if you want to install the application on on through via KitKat. So we are not going to really install this. You just need these two mostly. These these two, and this is just optional. But this does install for just app if you're if it's trying to install if you're trying to install it via system. So once you do that, you're going to reboot your. Once you get that all done, you're going to reboot your. You're going to reboot your phone, and it should be ready. I will I will rejoin you to show you that you can install the PS4 application without no error. Alrighty, now we started our we we started our device. You should be able to install PS4 Remote Play without no issues. So the first thing we need to do is head up back to EX File Explorer after you reboot. Just make sure that you give your phone a little bit of time to boot because depending on how much apps you have installed, and you want to make sure you go back down to Mega down, Mega Downloads, and you want to go and go install the PS4 Remote Play application. It's going to show like this. It's not going to show the icon. It's going to show not like that. But you get the point. Once you do that, it's going to ask you say, Hey, you want to install this? So yep, we're going to install. It should will install without no issue. Issues. And if it does, it's because either you did not do anything correctly, or two, that your device isn't supported. As you can see, it is installed without no problems. I can't open it because if I open it, it won't be able to work. And because I have root, and I explained that in the early in the video before I started talking. And you can see that PS4 Remote Play is right here. I didn't have to install this. I didn't have to install this. And just keep in mind up for those who, who are, think that they're smart asses, if you think that you can just get this from the PlayStation Store, no. 
The one on the PlayStation Store is a unmodded version, which is an unoptimized version for newer and high-end devices. You're not gonna get the, what you what you expect, and you're gonna have more problems with that than you are with the modded version. My the, my PS4 Mobile Play version is a modded version. It's not the original, and just because you go and download from the PS Play Google Play Store. That doesn't mean you're going to get beneficial from the modded. As well, I programmed into the files, the compa compatibility files, that to mess up the original version as much as it can, even even if you, without you noticing. And that is a trick when it comes to PS3 Remote Play, the modded version. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know this video was way too long. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I would love it if you guys give it a, a rate, rate it. And if you're brand new to the channel, I don't just do PS4 Remote Play videos. I do gameplay videos, music videos, everything that you can possibly imagine. And I do them all. But if you guys wanted to go ahead and as well support me by hitting that join icon, you can support me by um, um, supporting me every month for like three ninety nine per or five bucks per month. Um, four to five bucks per month, and you can it, it can help me make more of these videos and more and build more of of this OS, of uh, more of OS and other projects. But if you as well, if you're also new to the channel, be sure to hit that bell's icon. We're, notifications aren't going out as well. It's all buggy, so clicking that notification bell icon will get you notified of whenever I post another video just like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.